Hello, my name is Chase Gano, and thanks for tuning in to the second installment in a new uh, training video blog series. Uh, today we're coming to you from uh, St. Albans, West Virginia, inside a more than 100 year old Chesapeake and Ohio train station situated in front of CSX Transportation's Canal Subdivision Mainline, uh, part of the uh, former CNO between Russell, Kentucky and Richmond, Virginia. Uh, interestingly enough, today's topic uh, will be CSX. Uh, it's a hot item, there's a lot going on there. Um, the most recent announcement being that uh, Railroad uh, Chief Executive Officer and uh, Chairman Michael Ward, along with Railroad President Clarence Goodwin, would step down from the Railroad's uh, uh, top positions uh, at the end of May. Um, that leaves the door wide open for Hunter Harrison to come in uh, as CEO and uh, begin implementing his uh, precision railroading model, if you will, or at least some form of a management shakeup uh, at the Jacksonville, Florida based railroad. Uh, so, in uh, following all of Harrison and what's going on this week at CSX and uh, the last several weeks actually, uh, we had the chance to sit down with a few CSX employees, um, talk to them on the phone, and try to get a, a consensus across the entire network of what these people think could change under a Harrison led uh, team. And uh, we got some uh, different opinions, as you can imagine, but we also got some consistency. And uh, that uh, concerned management, efficiency, and being a profitable railroad. So in talking to several people, the idea is that um, there will be a uh, more attention toward management cutbacks and accountability with those managers. Um, a CSX engineer in Ohio tells us that managers today on a local level of CSX don't want to make a decision. He says they want to call somebody above them, and that person wants to call somebody above them before that issue eventually ends up in Jacksonville. Uh, he says that that's no way to run an efficient railroad when they're dealing with a day-to-day -day operational issue and they have to consult their direct boss, a train master or a road foreman, who then in turn has to run the, uh, the issue through several other people before it gets resolved. Um, he says, you know, look, if you make a decision, that's your call to do it. And you need to be prepared to uh, suffer the consequences if you make that wrong decision. He says the managers today are scared to make any decisions at all. Uh, a CSX engineer in Tennessee believes that Hunter Harrison taking over will change a sense of apathy that is alive and well at the railroad. He says that uh, train crews, engineers and conductors, operate in a tense, negative environment between management and uh, train service workers uh, that should have been absolved years ago. Uh, he says that he wants us to be reminded that Harrison started as a craft laborer and knows the day-to-day -day, uh, segment of railroad operations. He says that is not something you see much anymore with most of your railroad's top leaders coming from Harvard and other equivalent uh, universities. Um, it should be remembered, and this was the general consensus among almost everybody that we talked to, that most of the headcount reductions uh, during a Harrison-led uh, administration of CP came from management. Uh, train service folks were not affected drastically at first. Uh, the initial cutbacks came to folks in mid to high level management. A uh, CSX engineer in the coal fields of the railroad's former Huntington division right here in West Virginia tells us that he wouldn't be surprised if a Harrison management shakeup affected people as high as Sydney Sanborn. He believes that uh, mid-level to high-level Jacksonville managers could be impacted by Harrison's uh, shakeup. But he also says, in turn, uh, in cutting some of your managers, you develop uh, and begin to operate a more efficient railroad. Uh, on the topic of efficiency, um, in addition to cutting back managers, uh, managers that some believe are redundant positions or unnecessary positions, uh, engineers and conductors that we talk to believe that there will be some level of streamlining operations and with that comes the abolishment of certain jobs uh, as well as rail terminals and yards. A CSX engineer in Ohio again, he tells us that he believes at least one major hump yard uh, in Ohio could be closed if Harrison ends up as CEO. He says that you have four major hump yards within 150 miles of each other, referencing Willard, Stanley, Avon, and Queensgate. He personally believes that Stanley Yard could be the first one to go under a Harrison leadership. 
The same engineer in Ohio believes that heavy engine shops could be another thing for Harrison to cut. Uh, he says it's just not his MO. He just does not rebuild locomotives. If he wants to rebuild locomotives, he sends that work to third-party companies. Uh, he says that the contract between Huntington and uh, other companies that do uh, locomotive rebuilds is a very competitive environment. And under Harrison leadership, uh, he believes that Huntington could be one of the first shops to be closed with that work going to other companies in the industry. Regardless of what happens, uh, with whatever negotiations CSX and Harrison are currently working out, and uh, regardless of whatever happens to CSX going forward, the trains are still running, people are still keeping the infrastructure right here in West Virginia in top notch shape, and uh, the overall state of the industry seems to be rebounding. Uh, be sure to stick around to the end of the clip. We actually, uh, while filming, we saw a CSX rail train uh, making a reverse move into a siding located right here. Uh, again, a further testament to the idea that CSX continues to make an investment right here in West Virginia on lines that have been impacted by declining coal, but still remain an important artery for moving coal, freight, and other goods uh, across uh, West Virginia and the Mid-Atlantic. Uh, thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you next Thursday. Thanks.